Welcome back to AH Accounting and Training Services Certificate in Zero Accounting course. Lesson 17 Understanding and Entering Conversion or Opening Balances in Zero. When creating your company file in Zero or any other accounting software for that matter, there might be two possible situations which you could be dealing with. Situation 1 You are dealing with an established business which has been operating for months or years, in which case its account will have opening balances. Situation 2 You are dealing with a brand new business, in which case there will not be any opening balances in its account. The business example used in this course is an established business and has opening balances which you need to enter before you can start entering any new accounting transaction in Zero software. Account opening balances in Zero is referred to as conversion balances. Conversion balances is a summary of a company or an organization's account balances which you need to enter in your Zero software before you start using Zero. To enter your opening or conversion balances in Zero. Go to your Zero dashboard and then click once on the Accounting tab and then select Advanced option from the drop-down list to open Advanced Accounting Settings window. So from your Zero dashboard, click on the Accounting tab and then select Advanced option to open Advanced Accounting window. From this window, locate the option for Conversion Balances and then click on it once to open Conversion Balances window. So here is the conversion balances, click on it to open and now we are in the conversion balances window. Once you are in the conversion balances window, you will have add comparative balances and conversion date option. So here is the add comparative balances and here is the conversion date option. Add Comparative Balances allows you to enter historical account balances from previous or past financial year so that you can compare business performance of the current financial year against the previous financial year. Entering historical account balances here do not affect your current account balance at all and you really do it so that you can have comparative balances in your financial statement report. Conversion Date Entering or selecting conversion date on the other hand will affect your account. Conversion months is the months that you start using zero. For Ashka Construction Services Limited, conversion months is 1st of April 2018. Since the company is an existing business, it also has account opening balances which we need to enter in the zero software before entering any new accounting transaction in zero for Ashka Construction Services Limited. Okay, now let's enter conversion balances for Ashka Construction Services Limited inside Zero software. Click on the conversion date and then select April as your conversion month and 2018 as your conversion date and finally click OK to save your selection. So click on the conversion date, select April as your conversion month and 2018 as your conversion year. Notice here it says for this conversion date you need to enter conversion balances also known as opening balances as 31st of March 2018. So click save. Now it's asking us to confirm our 31st of March 2018 account balances. If you can't see all the account balances, there will be a button to say show all account. Now before you enter any balances in your opening balances um, window, it's important to note that the adjustment balance is zero before you start entering any amount here and it must remain zero after you enter the account balances. If you have end up with an amount other than zero in the adjustment in the adjustment uh, column here then that means that your debit and the credits are not balancing and you are need to address those issues before you can save it 
So let's enter the opening balances as 31st of March for Ashka Construction Services Limited. When entering balance, just type in the figure. Don't worry about the separator or dollar sign and then use the tab key to move from one cell to another cell. So, so the first account balance that I need to enter here is the ASP check account and that is 15,500. The next one is accounts receivable 7,500. So let's find accounts receivable. Here's the accounts receivable. Need to enter 7,500. Next, we need to enter 25,700 for computer equipment. That's a fixed asset um, account. Here it is. 25,700 and then 5,000 $5, dollar accumulated depreciation on computer equipment which is a credit balance here $5,000 then we have 47,500 on building equipment here 47,500 on building equipment and then 14,300 uh, in the account less accumulated depreciation on building equipment 14,300 then we have to enter 6,200 for accounts payable 6,200 and then 8,500 for the ASP bank loan 8,500 and then we've got 3,000 for retained earning now you can see that the adjustment balance shows 59,200 out of balance and that is because that's the only figure that I haven't entered here. Once I enter the owner's capital of 59,200, the adjustment balance will be going to zero. My debit and my credit will balance. So now I need to enter 59,200. That's the owner's capital. And now you can see the adjustment balance is zero. My debit is 96,200 and my credit is 96,200. So it's all good to go. And I'm ready to save my opening balances in zero. Now, before I click save here, remember I talked to you about that if you've got accounts receivable amount or accounts payable or inventory, you also need to have their uh, breakdown of the accounts receivable and the accounts payable the matching invoices and the matching bills and also inventory information because as soon as you click save here zero will start asking for those um, for the accounts receivable and accounts payable details and also if you have inventory inventory information as well so click save now you can see it says enter invoices sent or before 31st of march that haven't been fully paid. So you can see I'm at the moment out of balance by 7,500 and that's the exact amount that we entered as accounts receivable. So we need to tell Zero that um, I know who this $7,000 belongs to. So we need to add an invoice, a matching invoice. And this invoice belongs to First Class Home, uh, our customer First Class Home. And you can see the date is into the 31st of March and the due date automatically comes as 20th of April as we set up in the invoice customization lesson. Also here for you, the invoice number should be 520. For me, it's 671 because I've already passed 520. But when you're doing the course and you're dealing with this invoice, your invoice number should be 520. Next, we're going to um, select the GST. So the GST is um, GST inclusive. And then we type in construction income. So this invoice was construction for construction income. Construction um, income. And then click tab to go to the quantity, quantity one. And then unit price is 7,500. Now, Zero is now using um, artificial intelligence or robot 
to automatically um, code account for the income. Um, but you make sure that the account that zero is coding is correct. For us, 200 is correct, construction income. And then you can see the total is 7,500. Now here, you've got an options to save. Uh, I'm gonna click save. And you can see that zero has matched my, my account receivable with this invoice. And now I'm ready to go to the next one, which is accounts payable. So click next. Now you can see that I'm out again by 6,200 and that's the exact amount that we entered as accounts payable. So we need to enter the matching bills for this. To do that, you click add bill. And this bill belongs to total building contractors. So you enter total building contractors and make sure the date is 31st of March. And you can see again the due date is automatically coming in and the bill number for this is TBC 437. TBC 436, sorry. 436. Again, it's a GST inclusive. This time we're gonna write contractor fee. Press the tab key to go to quantity. Quantity 1, unit price 6200 and the account code here is a cost of goods sold. Remember we, we um, were asked to have a cost of goods sold. So I've got here contractor fee account 500. And now you can see that uh, my total bills matches the total for the accounts payable and I'm ready to click save. And again zero will match my accounts payable with the matching bills that I have just entered and if I click next that's all I needed to do to enter the opening or conversion balances for Ashka Construction uh, Limited and now I'm ready to enter new transaction into it but also if I go to the zero dashboard I should see my bank balance in my bank the accounts payable balance in my bills area and the accounts receivable balance in my um, sales area. So that shows that the amount that I entered as account opening balances are all balanced. The bank account balances, the accounts payable balances and the accounts receivable balances. So when, they paid the, uh, when we paid the bills to supplier we will um, apply the payment against this bill and close this bill. And when our customer pay their accounts, we will apply against this invoice and we close this invoice as well. Also, if I go into my chart of account, I should see the balances for all the accounts that we have entered. So if I go to um, accounting advance option and then click on the chart of accounts, and then you can see on the balance or yet to that column or the balance column, you can see the uh, balance for various accounts that we have just entered. Congratulations, you have successfully completed all zero account setup processes and procedure for Ashka Construction Services Limited and are ready to enter new transactions for this business in your zero software. Now that you have learned how to enter the conversion or opening balances in zero in this lesson, in the next lesson I will conclude and summarize the main learning outcomes for module 2 of the certificate in zero accounting course.